hidden, untrained eye. A place where the metal of warriors, the uninitiated, and the forgotten are tested. It is here, within these walls, where your true purpose can be found. As if waking from a dream, you find yourself standing in a massive room. The walls curve outward and away from you, as if racing towards infinite possibilities. Before you is a path that slopes upwards to the top of a stone pyramid. A faint bluish hue can be seen emanating from it. Your feet seem to move forward on their own. You are unsure of what is at the top, what causes this light, but somehow trust it. A growing confidence building in your gut is telling you that you are meant to be at the top. A triangular device sits silently on the floor. It appears to be hewn from a strange metal. Briefly, small traces of light sparkle across the surface, akin to an unclouded starlit night. The path stops over the center of the device, and that is where you choose to stand. Suddenly and silently, the device begins to move. The bluish hue of the top begins to fade as all light seems to fade from existence. You find yourself drawn to looking upward as the last remaining light dwindles. Suddenly, a flash! You feel swept off your feet as lights and colors of black, blues, and purples come pouring into the room from a singular point above you. Marvelous images of constellations, galaxies, and planets trail over your skin as the room seems to stretch and bend. Lightning shoots above and within these images as everything lights up. And then another flash! You find yourself on board a mighty vessel. The name Chosen's Gaze emerges in your mind as you walk to a nearby viewport. You're in space, among stars never named, planets undominated, and stories untold. But amidst all this majesty, there is one jewel that catches your eye. A massive orb-like coliseum in the distance, shrouded in greenery, circled by winged creatures lazily gliding about. Waterfalls of endless trail head off the edge, and seemingly disappear among the stars. It is here your ship is headed. It is here where you begin to hear the footsteps of many moving about, the rising cheers and boasts of others. Welcome! A voice can be heard rising in your mind. Many questions you may have, many doubts may slow your step, but here all are equal. Join your voice with others. Raise them in a mighty chorus and write your own story of triumph. Welcome to the Infinite Causeway.
Hello, hello, my friends. We're just going to be jumping right into it. This isn't going to be a crazy long stream. Uh, wanted to do a bonus stream, hang out with y'all for a little bit, get some more Starfield done, pick up where we left off. So I figure we'll just jump right into it um, and then see what kind of, you know, what kind of what kind of trouble we can get into. Y'all know how it goes. Y'all know how it goes. See, if I remember last time, um, the the call for loot happened uh, right away. So we we went to the first world, which was a nearby moon where I think it was called the Crimson Fleet. We're uh, leaving from to attack our base. And we landed here. The initial area that they wanted us to go to, I was going to head there until I realized, hey, wait a minute, there's other bases here. So we went and cleared out this abandoned bionics lab, got a bunch of loot, got a lot of creds, found a few rares and even a legendary helmet, uh, got some combat experience, and uh, now going to be headed out to uh, a few other locations. I forget, like, how do we, how do you mark stuff? Hey, what up, Pompano? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the hydrate. You know what, Pompano? I'm I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. It's been. Uh... It is foolish to carry so many items on your own. It's been uh, it's been a busy weekend. First weekend home since Dragon Con. Um, by the way, I haven't forgotten. Compiled all the photos. It should hopefully be going up to Instagram here in the next couple days. Still trying to iron out like uh, reliable and consistent uh, schedule so I can get stuff done when you know, I tell y'all stuff's gonna get done. My partner's been kind enough um, to help me out in that endeavor with like the social media stuff. So I greatly, greatly appreciate her even more uh, for that. Captain Protocol Indigo dictates that I am there is room in my storage hold for further items. But yeah, beyond that, um, get a little bit of chores, finishing up unpacking. Uh, I think I need to do one or two more loads of laundry from us. I'm the type of person, unless it's for like something really specific or something really fancy, I can never pick like if it's a fun, fun thing that I'm going to. So I usually just pick like the largest amount that I can fit of like clothes to wear and then just throw it in the suitcase. So uh, there's like a good like one third, two thirds of my clothes. I got to go through and wash it. I was like doing doing like costume changes, so to speak, during the convention to like try different clothes, which I feel like probably helped too with my health because then I wasn't like in the con crud as much because on top of like showering but then also like changing you're not just walking around in the same clothes especially with like how hot it can get in georgia especially around that time i'm at 136 i'm gonna have to remember to take all of this stuff off of uh off of the bot Sixteen. Finish your first week of classes. Nice. Only had one day because we started on Wednesday, but I have no classes on Wednesday or Friday. Like period for the semester. You don't. 
Because that's nice. You get like a little three-day weekend and also a nice break right in the middle of the week. That's nice. Was that intentional or did it just end up playing out that way? Okay, this is master lock. Damn. in here nope oh Vasco can jump okay no classes Monday Friday no class with you nice I am really freaking happy for you. Holy crap, that's awesome. All right, it's over. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's the, what was it, F? Yeah, that's right, it was F. Because that's how we were mining the other stuff. pick class times or days anymore so just end up this way well great you deserve it all that hard work you're putting in Classes set four this semester. Look at all these resources. You know, looking back on it, I probably should have invested in a character that was going to have a larger carrying capacity. <laughs> fully well knowing in a Bethesda game, especially a space one, that I was going to have a lot of crap. Hopefully there are readily available perks or armors and stuff that'll help with that. Like, I know a little bit that you can both get storage when you make your own outpost as well as storage on your ship so that's another reason why uh, really really excited to see how all of this is going to pay off collecting all of this so the other reason, like, I do this stuff, like, busy work in games and stuff like this, where you're doing on your own, not as a quest, tells you, like, go out and collect, like, 600 chestnuts. Like, that's not fun. But stuff like this, where you're going up, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this. But there's still a little bit of freedom to it. One of the many reasons why I like it is you do it on your time and stuff like that, and then you save so much time comes around to being like, hey, so you need this. Like, the amount of quests I've saved time on across various games where they're gonna send you out somewhere, and you're like, oh, I already cleared out that cave. Twenty-nine more weeks. Oh, man. For the semester, six next semester, hopefully graduate is what you meant. Oh, I got you. These, these are the last two, right? Or is it one more year after this? Oh, okay. That vent. I was like, what the hell is burning me? 
Last two semesters. Oh man, Pato, you're so close. I'm so happy for you. It's gonna be time to party. Well, do you already have plans for what comes next? Are you gonna like do a little part-time work or something like that? Carrying so many things is reducing our travel speed. I will do what I want, Vasco. While I am programmed, I will accept any and all items. So Vasco's at 105 out of 135. Oh, did I just max Vasco out? Oh! Vasco's real close. Already looking into jobs and internships. Look at you go. Well, wherever you choose to have your endeavors be in like your next steps, know that I'm rooting for you. So proud of your progress. recent one, this one. I don't see anything. Is this a bad guy ship? Let's do a quick little uh, photo mode investigation. relay station so were they attacked by the crimson there's like stuff venting off of this so my brain looks at that as like are there scavengers here waiting to come back to their ship flies that is for damn sure like it doesn't seem like it because when you look back that's when you're able to appreciate how much has been done but it's also that wrapped within that feeling of like how much has been done to be like oh wow like that's how many have been checked off what is that noise and a creature off there in the distance. Did y'all see that? They're blue, so are they friendly? What was holster? Uh, 
Uh, open quick keys. Okay, it is Q. How to put them on the quick keys, though. R. Maelstrom on one. It's crazy you'll be graduating with your minor in art because you didn't know you could use your art 101 class as part of your credits. You just thought they needed to be 200 level or above. Mm, excuse me. That's a nice surprise. Put the SMG on two. Um. So, rifle and SMG, pistol, and then a melee, I guess. And then frag grenades. Stopped up, y'all. I don't know where it's coming from. No, I actually didn't know. Oh, I know. That slice of life has been proof that you got a good eye. we go try to talk to that person. Okay, they're not reacting to me, so... Yo. Yo, yo. Hey. Hi. Out here, you never know what'll hit you. Never hurts to be prepared. What brings you two all the way out here? Besides selling you stuff? I'm just taking him on a little walk so he can stretch out his little feet. He don't do so well on the ship. He may have six eyes, but he's blonder than a bat in a rock yeah. concert. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'd like to see. Less is more, I guess. Toss it in the slice anyway, of life or uh, DM it to me. As soon as he gets on board, me. he just starts running into things. Bumping crates, banging knees, pushing buttons. He uses his tongue to navigate more than anything. So, if he licks your boot, he don't mean nothing by it. That's just his way of getting from A to B. Right over here, friend. DM'd it to me. Nice, 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 nice. And Discord or Twitch? Oh, the coachman. Do I have a shotgun? Still sending. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can finally get rid of some of this stuff. Let's see. Miscellaneous. You want some coffee mugs? Watch me need some of these things. Oh well. If it ends up being the case, it ends up being the case. We learned our lesson. Free 
up some space too, jeez. Didn't I pick up some stuff that was like stupid expensive? Okay, I do have a, wait, no. This is buy. Right? This is buy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to sell. Pull some stuff from, uh, from Vasco. Barrett and the Crimson Flea carrying objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. Vasco. Give me my stuff back. Um. Damn. That's expensive. Don't net me 15 right there. Six K for this pirate sniper suit. I wonder if you can give these to your to your people, but since we're running uh what do we pick? Introvert? To gain a bonus when we're um running solo. Run solo, run solo, solo. So I do need to get free up some space for him. Anything that I have multiple of. Yeah, like, look at all these maelstroms I gave him. Lead, iron, helium, deep mining spacesuit, that's 3k. Calumite. Okay, that should be it. Howdy, looking to buy? Wouldn't let me send you. What? Was it saying that it was too big or? Happy shopping. Or what? Did it tell you at least? Do I have one extra of these? I don't remember. Weapons. All the maelstroms but one. Uh, these use the same rounds, right? Yeah. Solstice, Berserker Solstice. Alright, we're below 100 mass now. Now nah, we're cooking. I'm just gonna sell this other helmet. Cool, cool, cool. I will pick up more junk. <laughs> Just failing to send. Huh, that's weird. All right, so I don't have enough digi picks. So I am, I am sad boy. Uses a component in crafting. Okay, I'm glad that it at least says. Hopefully it says that for everything. What is it in here? Nothing? Okay. 
So then I think there's only one other one before we go deal with the uh captain. We got abandoned bionics lab, that's where we came from. That's where the captain is. There was one other one like in the in the far off distance. like over here. Yeah, like y'all see the little formation of buildings on the horizon? That's where I think it is. Let me check out the, what you just said. Yo! That looks cool. Kind of gives me Beetlejuice vibes. Yeah, that looks cool. I like the different changes in... Uh, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not symbols, but, uh, but just like the, the, the difference in designs, like how some are, it's like, gives me like the, whoa, 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 like hypno toad kind of stuff. And then it switches to like the checkered and then the dots like that's That's cool. You're playing with me, right? I know. I can never tell. Do you actually not know what Beetlejuice is? Ambushed by anything. Oh, maybe see, we got some red over here. Don't know of what, though. Okay, looks like it might be some of the local wildlife. siblings watching all the time. See? So you be playing, Papano. I don't know what I'm supposed to actually help you. <laughs> and I was going to say, like, even though it was before your time, so to speak, it's like one of those classics that I feel like people always end up watching or having shown to them. Because you either had the movie and then there's the cartoon show. I think they're doing uh, another movie. I don't know if it's going to be a reboot or a sequel. Well, I had heard that that's in the works or will be in the works once these freaking companies pay these people what they're worth. get there it's just so much 
There's just so much. Making my way downtown, looting things, getting over encumbered. Watch the Labyrinth, Dark Crystal, and Star Wars Never Ending Story. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's like that's how I can't tell if you're playing or not because in a lot of cases, people will end up getting that shown to them. Even if it was before, because some of those are just they're just classics. What's my... We're at 124. Reactive gauge, deep mining space helmet. What does that bring me up to now? 127? Okay, it's not too bad. on just in case we pass any like blue nodes Entirely sure how this scanning thing works. Is it just get close and like scan each one? See, that just gave me 50. Or got me 250. Host of biggins over there. One, two, three, four. We'll give them a wide berth. They're not doing anything to us. Now, if they attack, though, that's a different story. stuff we're never gonna get off this planet I'm glad you don't have to grab what you That's nice. I'm glad they didn't go with, like, added realism for that. Eighty-eight. Looks like they've been gone kind of by twelves. So one more and we should be good. There we go. One out of three flora. Close. It's like another outpost of sorts.
Let's be smart about this. Is that shooting? Oh, there's a fight happening. We'll have to see if it's humanoid versus humanoid or humans versus bugs. outlines on the scanners. Maybe we try to get some high ground. Biochemical depot. Oh, what is that? Oh. Fall there. <laughs> Terror morph. What? What in the stranger things? question is, can it climb? If the answer is yes, we're screwed. Gonna do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. Hope to get away with it. Please don't climb. Roscoe, don't lead it to the stairs. Stop teaching it how to jump. This thing better be worth a lot of XP. This armor is like crazy. Hopefully it's like uh, Skyrim, where they come back after a certain point. Wait, how do I do? Let's make sure I don't blow myself up. All right, G for grenade. Why did that get stuck in here?
this this fight like not worth it. Well, there's level damage, and whatnot. So we're whittling away at it, but the cost for ammo is just it's not there. Is your crit spot? stubborn right now. Side's a bit more dangerous. Shots left, and we gotta move on to the other weapons. Watch this thing only give like 5 XP or something. I'll be so frustrated. Well, that's it for that.
can't tell if these... I'm not seeing, like, a, a hit register. There we go. Almost got it, y'all. Yeah! Hell yeah! And a level up out of that. Watch there be another one. Versus a level ten. Shielded lab outfit. There you are, bud. Captain, we should continue. Commencing item exchange protocols. You did a good job helping how you could. One twenty nine. Do I recommend any other <laughs> old people movies? What, uh, like what what genres are you looking for? One thing that I've enjoyed is like when you go back for older um, older anime, like '90s anime stuff is wild.
Solar Frontiers game. Get a fire. A little bit of moonshine all the way out here. Oh, that's cool. Micro floater terrarium. If you require help carrying any items, I will assist. It occurred to me that you have undergone considerable physical and emotional trauma since first meeting Barrett. That is not uncommon. Allow me to assist you with carrying your items. If you haven't already, I definitely recommend checking out the old Batman movies. I started with Batman, then Batman Returns, then what was it Batman Forever? Was it three or was it four? Those are those are uh provide some hilarious watching. Today's forecast, a freeze is coming. Fosco is almost full. Fosco cannot carry any more. Well, we just have to finish checking out the rest of this place. Head back to the ship. Drop some stuff off. to the uh, final location. Oh my god, there's more places. Ugh. Jeez. Alright, hold on. I think we can fast travel to the ship. We might not be able to do that over encumbered, though. Yep. Show. Walking. Too stubborn to put any of this stuff down. Hopefully there's there's storage on the ship. Actually, hold on. Do I have Increased total carrying capacity by 10 kilograms. Sprint for a thousand meters while at 75% or more of your maximum load capacity. And what is that to allow you to unlock the next one? Is that how the challenges work? sense I gotta remember that so we'll let it go up and it'll be like sprint 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 stop sprint 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 stop we'll take the long way though because I don't want to run into the bad guys in this condition oh crap
So it ends up lining up like, yeah, it's a little tedious, but it ends up lining up to be able to make the most use of this, though. Is it counting this? Yep, look at that, 143 out of 1,000 already. Look at that, 250. We're already a quarter of the way there. If we don't hit it, we'll be really damn close. Just because of the of the distance. after all of this. Stop. Halfway there. Look at that. Uh, those things better not be coming this way. down there. One, two, three, four. Where'd the fourth one go? Go hide behind a rock. We're gonna give them a wide berth. Skyrim horse. I don't know if any of y'all have seen um, the technical like Final Fantasy movies uh, what was it called? Spirits Within? But that's what these rock formations remind me of of uh, when they were doing the expedition on the on the surface like the wreckage and then like the ghosts started coming out and stuff like that it's like one of my favorite like just like random movies to watch I remember going to go see that in theaters. It was like a Final Fantasy movie. Three fourths of the way there. Actually, I should stop jumping. I don't know if that still counts as sprinting. Thousand meters, seventy five percent. Question is, what does that get me? If I just 
just unlock the next thing. Okay, so yeah, rank two available. Okay, so you get the first one for free, then you gotta do the challenge to make the each challenge to make each is it no not preceding. It's preceding to before. Yeah, each each next uh rank up to be able to pick that. Actually delaying my oxygen? Hold on. Yeah, when I jump, it looks like it keeps the meter still. I'm really happy with how that ended up working out, y'all. We might go hit. Let's go hit the captain's thing first. Since it's in the midway point. So I think there was two, two or three more other spots. Like, no plan is going to be safe from the amount of looting I'm going to do. It's going to be like a humanoid version of mining to zero percent the uh the planets in mass effect too please have storage stuff. If I just drop it, <laughs> will it go away? Let's say it before I try that. somewhere that's out of the way. Maybe right here. like you can do the yep I just gotta hold so we'll put this right here there you go y'all got a new home now
Let's go see what's going on with this Crimson Fleet, Captain. Scan. Oh, you level five, bruh? No burrowing. That's freaking cheating. Looking bug, though. We got a scan in right before it attacked, though. The only reason why I wanted to get that close was it's like, hmm. We also might as well go here, too, because I need more ammo get it from these pirates one way or the other does it show XP no loot 25 container okay so we did that there's a chance you'll find extra ammo Ooh. Unlock the ability to pickpock. Pickpock. Pickpocket. I don't know. I feel like that should just be like... You should just make yourself better at it. Anybody should be able to just pickpocket. should be more about the skill. 10% chance. To successfully 30%, 50%. Get more common and uncommon inorganic resources from surface objects. That's probably another one I'm going to get. Like, try to line up stuff with your play style. So, if, like me, I'm being a little loot goblin grabbing stuff. Um, you know, geology just helps to make that even more beneficial. Medicine. They restore 10% additional health, 10% faster. Resources required to craft items to complete research projects. Surveying. Adds an optional zoom. Scan distance increase to 20 meters. That would also be nice. Just like, even if it was just one point in that. Can now utilize ship's thrusters. What do I have to do for this? Pick five locks. I think if I were to do any mod off jump right now, it would just be like unlimited digipicks. Since I feel like I'm going to lose a lot of them because I don't fully understand yet how it works. Like, do you use a digipick each time you lock in one of those rings or is it one digi pick for all the things and then it's like do you go in order are you supposed to be like picking to choose which which of those dots or the lines like you know let's say you have five to work with is it supposed to be useful you just go through okay i locked in that one i locked in two i locked in three four so on and so forth or is it like okay one works here three works here two works here five works here four works here so I may have to look online just to, like, get a better idea. Okay, the fact that there's nobody outside tells me we're probably getting ready to walk into, like, a, uh, a cutscene here. Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collectives. 
space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. What was flashlight? Secret facility. This is a space game. You know, people be doing too much. Doing secret experiments. Workplace safety is everyone's job. The lights are out. Nobody can be found. Like... Go. Hey, you got some digi picks. Let's go. You're blocking the med packs, bud. Hold on. Did I did I use up all the Go with SMG. All signs point to uh oh. Nah, Vasco, don't stay in the doorway. You're coming in here, too. Not that close, dude. Let me walk. Unless you're gonna carry me. Let me ride piggyback. So now I hear pirates. Sound like there was three. Two having a conversation. Okay, there's the other pirate.
feel pain, but I hear it is terrible. Yes. Yes, it is. Got some in the maelstrom now. Let's use some. Uh, bandages, treats contusions, lacerations, and puncture wounds. Double, double. Restores two health. And then oxygen recovery for three minutes. Restores four health. Restores two health. Spiced worms. Mmm. Num num. Infantry Alpha, keep an eye out for those. Those are nice. Plus 25% range damage for two minutes. Plus 25% weapon accuracy for two minutes. I've heard the food making in here is like, even though it's cool, is like pretty much useless. Because the, uh, the amount of time, at the very least, I keep hearing that it's useful for just uh, renders it like not worth putting the points into. So glad they don't hear the heavy thump thump thumping that's happening right now. This is novice level. We got four digipicks. So, so we have to go through all four of these to match up with, is it just two of these? This needs three. So those two can go there. And then there? 
Otherwise, I don't think it's gonna work. It'd have to be here. So then maybe... Like that? So, to undo takes a digi-pick, also. So it's these. So this has to be the last one. This is the one, so do I need to do, I might need to do this one earlier. So let me slot this one. Okay. So these two. Do I use them up here? And then... These two have to be far. These do not. Two, okay. So the two that I just used need to be on this level. I think I get it. I think I get how this works now. Oh, it changed. So, I... These for this one. These are for, yep, this one. Which means this for here and then this for here. So slot that, slot that, slot that, and slot that. Boom! There we go. Noise. 
Heck yeah. Starware operating system. New beginnings. I can't believe it. I got the posting. The United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at MAST, but it's long overdue, and I get to be a part of it from the ground up. My official title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician, and I ship out in three days. Amanda is upset, but I assured her I'll have plenty of leave and will be back in New Atlantis all the time. I'm not sure where I'm going. Definitely somewhere in United Colony space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. Um, let's see. I'm like, what's the order? Is it going down this way, maybe? Okay, hold on. So this is February 6, 2306. This is January. Okay, so it's probably going down. Candidate 1. We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today. What appeared to be an alien form of, like, Lacaga Venusta, essentially a giant spider. Mickelson, in full protective gear, attempted to attach the neural control interface, NCI. Our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon, and we had no choice but to put down the creature. A minor setback. None of us expected success on the first try. I heard Dr. Paulson tell the others that a detachment of United Colonies Marines is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday. Ashta specimen. May 5th, 2306. I'm not sure how they managed it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's not that the Ashta is a terrifying beast and natural predator. Those are both exceptional and wonderful qualities and essential to the work we're doing here. It's that the Na Ashta is native to the planet Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Aquila, home to Aquila City, capital of the Free Star Collective. Leave it to a group of ground pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard. Though it does beg the question, have Freestar Collective scientists managed to weaponize their greatest natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. Trial failure. May 7th. Any fears that our Freestar Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Asta have been completely dispelled. After the Mickelson debacle, we determined the NCI should only be attached under full sedation. So that wasn't an issue. I don't know why they didn't try that first. The problem started immediately afterward. The Ashta proved incredibly resistant to synchronization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Chin's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled. If not by us, then certainly not by the Freestar Collective. Dr. Paulson has been in touch with Colonel Kazarov. Looks like the Marines will have another species collected and dropped off by this time next week. More disappointment. Another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC ground pounders. We wanted a predator and they delivered. These things were so alien. Paulson had a difficult time deciding on a designation. Opted for Reptans Venuum. Veninum? Veninum? Shame we couldn't properly sink the NCI. These things would have been spectacular, especially the poison. New specimens. Marines dropped another few specimens off this morning, totally unscheduled. Best way to describe them? They're arthropods, the alien equivalent of Homaris gamaris, basically giant space lobsters. Very promising giant space lobsters. I'm not entirely sure where the UC grunts found these particular test subjects, some godforsaken backwater rock, I imagine. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of these earlier species could be controlled with any reliability. As noted in my earlier logs, their natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself on the shooter. But these new creatures possess a perfect natural disposition, non-aggressive, even docile, yet capable of defending themselves with deadly efficiency when threatened, and when they do go on the attack, they're terrifying. So we'll see. And then relocation. We're moving packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. It's happened so fast, my head is spinning. The work on the arthropods has been so successful, we're actually relocating to their homeworld. We'll have an unlimited supply of creatures for the Xeno Warfare Division. I've been named Senior, Z Senior Xenobiologist. That means I'll be running the entire facility. 
My first instinct was to tell Amanda. I'm still not used to her not being there. I'll give Mickelson credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He let the masked brass know that it was my work tuning the neural control interface that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod. I guess Paulson is being forced to retire. Good riddance. Man, so they had a lot happen because it started in January and that was in August. And then according to that uh, log that the pirates were listening to, the Terramorph or whatever got out. So I don't know if the Terramorph is something that they recently made with assistance from fooling around with the arthropods. Or if it's something entirely new. I'm really happy once I get my hands on uh, some silenced weapons. Because otherwise it's kind of like, what did I pick stealth for? drill on anything. I don't know if it'll let me do that. Oh. Maybe they moved on. They sounded like they were really close. Right now, this is the quietest uh, that I have, is the cutter. Oh ho ho! Wow, these guns are worth a lot of freaking money. Do I have the space for it? Massa 2, Massa... Somebody's using flashlights in there. Ammo. I'll come back for this stuff. What? Bosco, you gotta stop being on top of me like that. Modified Grindle. And we got one more person. It looks like these people have been dead for a minute. Oh, 
like that there's the variation. Like sometimes there'll be some who are charging you. Other times it's ones with weapons. I mean, obviously, yes, it's very much what any Fallout player would already be used to, like generally fighting the raiders. But it's still nice. Oh. It's the Equinox. Captain. Protocol, do you require assistance with your items? Yes, I have goodies that I need you to hold on to. My goodies, my goodies, my goodies are now your goodies. Oh crap, is Vasco still full up? I think Vasco's still full up. Yep. Oh, Vasco, I tried. How much over am I? I'm over by five. What is the Equinox? It's a laser rifle. We got 176 rounds. All right, so all like laser weapons will put in like the top half. Furious Kraken. Six five. What does the Eon use? Seven seven. Does anything else use that? I don't think so. Oh, the Maelstrom does. Modified Eon, modified Grendel. This does three at 170. This does. What's the difference? Oh, this is the. Wait, no. That's the wrong one. They do the same amount of damage, same mag size. Same ammo, same fire rate, same range. Modified actually has just like one to two percent more better accuracy. It weighs more. It costs more. Oh, it has a mod on it. Okay. That's not what I what I thought it was going to do when it was uh, <laughs> inspect. Okay, so it's got a muzzle brake. That's it. I am not impressed. Hello, bad guys. More maelstroms. I mean, God, if I had space, I'd be grabbing all these frickin' weapons. Glad it automatically puts the stuff in uh, alphabetical order. Anything else? Aluminum. Ooh. A lot of components for crafting. Gonna run out of space again. <laughs> Holy crap, that's worth a lot. Up 
I'm on it. No one's getting through. No one? Digipick, bro. I love this freaking weapon. I'm just gonna have to end up coming back to some of these places, y'all. Like, it's too much loot. health will be compromised by carrying so many items yeah yeah you, you know what you know what you might be right but the loot Is there anything that can be sacrificed? Like, I'm not going to use the mine. I'm up six. Vasco, what do you have on you? I am ready to commence a trade. Because if Vasco has stuff on it, I could just take off him and just throw away. Just be like, I don't, I don't need you to carry this anymore. Like pistol, don't really need that. Does he need this ammo? Is that what he's using to shoot? Because I know there were things to where if you took the ammo from your followers in like Skyrim, they, uh, it would affect what weapons they could use. I think there was like an exploit. You could give them like one arrow, one like specialty arrow, and then they would have unlimited of that arrow and stuff like that. I think I'm remembering that correctly. Hmm. Like, part of me just wants to take these outfits off of him, because that's, that's a lot of mass. Like, see, that's this is 14 right here, two of these deep minings. But they're 3k each. You have a deep mining space helmet? I guess I'm down to 130. So let's drop these. I think I see the 149 weapons. Let's drop these. Because I already have a modified. So I'm within two right now. Drop a rescue axe. I'm within one. I have anything that I have two of? 
the Grendel. All right, so now I'm underneath. Either like I pulled something or what, but it's just, uh, do not feel good. It's like a knot back there. Okay. Um, so let's see. So we have three. That one works there. That works there. And another one. So that work here. Yep. And then here. So here. 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 Nope, I'm good. Boom. That was three out of five. Three frag grenades. These are smaller, so that, that's just going right there. That doesn't fit there. Doesn't fit there. Hmm. This is the only one that works here. So I need something wider for here. Okay, so that's where these two go. So here and here. So then these two go here. three here, and these two here. Just need one more for security. Charity in a godless universe. Modified Rattler. See what Wind's project terminal has to say. War phase two stalkers and heat leeches. January 5th, 2308. So I believe this is two years after the first set of files that we saw. We're at war. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Free Star Collective have forced the UC's hand. The unmitigated gall, thinking they could establish control over a fourth star system. Such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narian. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently, they claimed that Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and Stalkers worked in perfect unison, 
and the results were everything we could have worked for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Vesta's defenders were apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate, 93%. This is a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the United Colonies, and a great day for Xeno Warfare. Note, no, it's not lost on me that this classified facility is actually located within Freestar Collective Space. So goes the great game. Phase 2, April 5th. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapons we had hoped for, so it's time to expand our operations. MAST has finally approved the next stage of this facility's operations. Project Pet Shop, Phase 2, will now commence. April 18th, my birthday. We've officially stopped work on the Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gather some from the planet and fit them with NCIs. But from this point on, our focus is Phase 2. May 1st. Throughout the settled systems, from civilized worlds to backwater bush towns, pilots have had to deal with the nuisance known commonly as the heat leech. I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the New Atlanta spaceport. My transport was delayed while the deck crew removed a few of these filthy little things from the aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat, feed off it through some endothermic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effects on the heat leeches, that is. A ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3-5% to drop in thruster efficiency. Working with the heat leeches has been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab, and by all accounts, they're completely innocuous, save for their heat siphoning properties. But what if there were a way to weaponize them? Perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship. Or even better, to somehow reverse the process so that they transfer their own heat into a ship. Someday. Today, I fear we lack the means to do either. I thought they were going to go in the direction of, like, using them to, like, siphon the heat from humans. I feel like that, that's the kind of stuff that would make them, like, scary deadly. Uh, okay, so... Came around the corner here. It would be advisable to leave some things behind. Nah. Looted them. Okay, we went through all these rooms. Yeah, that's where we dropped some stuff. Went in here, went in here, went in here. There were safes in here. Alright, now for upstairs. Now for wrath. Now for ruin. Out of half and half. Hayden win. Ah, crap. I didn't even see that it was uh a digi pick needed. They'll be getting off here soon. The back's really starting to bother me. I'm trying to sit in a way where it doesn't hurt as much. Okay, so this one here. And then I need another two, so it's gonna be this one. Yep. Um So what did I have? This one, this one. 
these three. Could go here. Already have a space for this. So I had in these three. So it leaves these two. These gonna fit. Yep. Okay. So we'll do this. Then this. This. And that. There we go. Security pick five locks. Attempt to hack expert locks and three auto attempts can be banked. Rings now turn blue when the pick is when the pick can be slotted. Ooh. I believe the ship parked by uh, the other place was an expert, but I think that was with the vendor that was walking her walking a little creature, so I might leave that one alone. Dr. Wynn, emergency slave. Get loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through the containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Hmm. I'm assuming that's, that's what I killed out there. Terramorph specimen. August 15, 2310. So we're now, I think, four years into this. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrogeologists made first contact nearly 100 years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrogeologists found it, or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it Asisio Machina, roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, Terramorph. I read the official record once of the eight person squad, only two of the grunts survived and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno warfare. NCI fitting today, August 20th. Today we fit the Terramorph with the NCI. If our experience when the grunts first dropped off the creature is any indication, our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We'd better make them count. And now we know how well that went. I wonder what they have up top waiting for us. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. <laughs> yes. Ah! to win emergency slate. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> so is it? Not only sentient, but like really intelligent. 
just like we talk in like aliens from like the movie aliens did it know to trash communications did it just happen that way okay uh, this one's probably gonna be yeah this one there so we need two probably for here so that's that one this is probably gonna be the next one and these so this one this one I already have this one here so yeah so this has these three this has these three so that one All right. Roof access. Time to go get into some serious trouble. Please don't have giant minigun. Holy crap. Instigating Grendel. Brown leather jumpsuit. Iso centered magnet. Uh, weapons. Deals double damage to targets with full health. I feel like that's uh, it's really only useful for a short period of time, right? So we've got that now, so you can get rid of the other Grendel. Alright, I'm eight over right now. I'm about to sell some of these other things. Is there anything else before we go out there and get shot at? with me or I got a chance to blow that up you gotta be kidding me the frontier has a new captain you working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands uh pff, let's see I'm with constellation you need to stop attacking our ship Try to kill Barrett, so tell your pirate friends to back off. Enough talk, I have places to be. What's your problem with Barrett? Anyway. You know what? I'm gonna say, like, if it had just been with the Barrett thing, but the fact that they attacked and killed some of the people that I was working with, we're just gonna go with, uh... People are gonna die. Or should I try to go for more information? I'm gonna see if I can get some information out of him first before I kill all of them. We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Huh. All right. Well, I guess you die. Oh, this will be fun. Ship landing here?
Are you sure about that, bud? Don't run! I wonder if I could have tried to uh, push the ship. save in a different slot and maybe try to do that might probably gonna end up being like master locked or something like that but uh you never know i really wish you could name these saves all right i think that's everything fosco what i tell you about being on top of me like that Where is the ship? Oh, just right up there. Uh, will I die if I jump from here? can't fast travel, but it saves me from having to run back through all those rooms. Did I level up yet? I did not. So I know it's weight and being able to hack higher stuff. I'm probably so over encumbered right now, I haven't even looked. Jumping, jumping is your best friend. It delays the meter from going down. stuff I dropped stayed there. That's good to know. Alright, so let's see. This was... I want this one. This is this is before to see if I can't take their ship.
select missions, bottom section. Press R to automatically plot a course to your next objective. Oh lord. No contraband on ship, wait for scan. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Gorgeous land. All right. Perfect timing. New Atlantis location discovered. Got to the planet, got through a fight, wiped out some pirates. Had a good old time. Uh, okay. Yeah, so... The 552.15 one is the one I don't want to touch. Alright. That's where we're going to leave off. And that's going to be it. Like I said, it wasn't going to be like a crazy... It wasn't going to be like a crazy long stream or anything. Especially with my, my back bothering me. I have to go take some some Advil or, or something sitting, sitting back as much as I was, was helping somewhat. But again, Vagabond always got to be juggling some kind of health stuff just to keep moving forward. But thank you everybody for coming out. I was glad I was able to get this bonus stream in. Mm, excuse me. Hiccups. Y'all always make me so nervous. Uh, I was glad to get this bonus stream in, get some more Starfield. Definitely see myself playing this. Um, a lot more. I am curious about uh, the um, my, I hear there's like really fun mods and stuff like that to use. So I'm, I'm curious if they work with Game Pass or if you need to have bought it through Steam or whatever. But Beyond that, yeah, that's that's definitely at the very least going to be a Saturday run for a while. And then any Sundays when I'm able to uh, to get on to do streams for that. Otherwise, the next stream, I remember from last one, this is now going to be the beginnings of the new days and new times. So we're switching off of Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and now doing Monday, Friday, Saturday. The themes will still be staying the same. So, oh, and the times uh, for right now, as well as the weekend, it's going to be Mondays, Fridays, Saturdays, all at 5 p.m. That's Eastern time. Um, as much as I liked having or the idea of having Saturday streams being earlier, just lately, it just hasn't been possible. Like, uh, my fatigue is the worst in the early morning when waking up. And it was just way too inconsistent where there'd be some times where I wasn't like fully awake until like two, three in the afternoon. And then that puts me like way behind both of the stuff that I'm trying to get done during the day, as well as I puts me behind of when y'all are expecting me to go live. So instead, I'm just switching it up to just have them all in the afternoon. Mondays and Fridays are already going to be an hour later than they were normally just to uh, give a little bit of breathing room. So that it's not doing the streaming right on top of when the fiance is taking her classes 
and stuff like that. And then it's just like, you know what? Let's do Saturdays in the evening just because it's easier and gives me a far better chance to stay consistent every day that I'm supposed to uh, be live. Now, as far as like the length of the streams, that one's going to take a little bit. Uh, just kind of testing it out to see how it feels, maybe like shooting for like four hours to start off with and then kind of go with that on, you know, where where the vibes are, where my energy level is at for everything. But yeah, so that's what we have to look forward to uh, going forward. Monday will be starting off right with some Palea. Uh, I haven't had the chance to play it too much, but from what I had, I've definitely have really enjoyed the Cozy Meets uh, MMO feel for that game uh so that will barring anything else that comes out that gets a you know a little guest star spotlight uh paleo will probably be one of the uh cozy games in the rotation for for mondays and then i figure out something for fridays and then start at the very least on uh on the weekends but that's going to be it for me today i hope everybody is already having a good weekend uh, and we continue to have a good weekend. Get yourself some time to rest up, catch up on anything that you need to. Don't stress yourself out too much. The work week's getting ready to start. Uh, make sure you have a priority that you get some hydration and get to bed at a decent time so you can uh, start off with all your faculties as best in place as possible to prepare yourself for success this week. But besides that, three most important things, y'all, is that I hope that each and every one of you will be well. Hope that each and every one of you will take care. And above all else, remember that I will see you all again soon. Everybody out there, have a great rest of the day or night, whether you're watching this live, if you're coming in and watching the VOD. And as always, thank you to the lurkers and to the VOD watchers. Hope you continue to enjoy your time here in the community as we uh, continue to grow, continue to strive, moving forward, playing new games, and just having a great time. Everybody out there, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy as best as you can. And I will see you all. Monday evening. Adios.